Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix in case if your computer screen is black and white. So uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about a couple of steps. So I would suggest you to go ahead and follow the steps. And in case if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Now without any further delay, let's get started. Now the first step, what I would suggest you to do is I would suggest you to go ahead and turn off the color filter option uh, in your windows now to do this what you will have to do is you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on settings once you're on the settings page you may go ahead and click on accessibility under this you will see an option which says color filter now if the color filter has been enabled what you can do is you can go ahead and toggle that and turn it off. Once the color filter is turned it off, uh, you should be able to get your uh, color screen back to the uh, color mode, not in the black and white mode. Now, this is the one step. Now, in spite of trying this step, and if you're still facing a problem, the next step, what I would suggest you to do is, I would suggest you to turn off the night mode in your windows. Now, to do this, you will have to do a right click again and then click on settings once you're on the settings page you will have to go ahead and click on display once you're on the display scroll down on this uh, right side of this window and look for night light now make sure the night light option is been turned off so in case if it is been enabled turn off the night light and um, turning it off should restore your colors back on your screen now this is the one step now in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem the next step is to go ahead and disable the high contrast settings in your windows now to disable the high contrast settings, you will have to do a right click on the start button. Go to settings. Once you're on the settings page, on the left hand side, you will look for accessibility. Under accessibility, on the right hand side, look for an option which says contrast themes. Now under this, the contrast themes needs to be a uh, selected to none in case if there are any contrast theme selected here under this from the drop down make sure it is been set to none and none of the themes are been uh, enabled for the contrast theme. once it is done you may go ahead and check if your uh, colors has been restored in your monitor now in spite of trying all this step and if you are still facing a problem the next step uh, what i would suggest you is uh, i would also suggest you to uh, see if uh, in case if you have connected your laptop or your computer to an external monitor check the cable connectors remove the cable connectors check if there are any dust particles um, uh, on the end of the connectors uh, clear those dust particles by blowing some vacuum air or blowing some air and and connect it back and see if it works if it works well and good you don't have to try the next step the, na the next step, uh, what I would also suggest you is to update the driver, the graphic driver. To update the graphic driver, you may do a right click on the start button and click on the device manager. Once you have the device manager window open, you will have to go ahead and look for display adapters. Under this, go ahead and choose for the uh, graphic driver in my case i have a default graphic driver and i have also have nvidia graphic driver so i would suggest you to go ahead and update the graphic driver for both of these here now to do this you will have to do a right click on the graphic driver and then click on update driver under this you may go ahead and choose the option search automatically for drivers now by default you will see this window the best drivers for your device are already installed uh, now to get the latest driver maybe from the windows update what i would suggest you to do is to search for the updated drivers on windows update this will go ahead and check for the updated drivers uh, via windows update and uh, 
check for the updates in my case there are a couple of uh, updates available for my windows um, now in case if you don't see this option you it is highly uh, possible that you would see an option which says check for the updates if you see an option for check for the updates click on it this will go ahead and check for the updates download and install the updates restart the computer and that should fix the problem now in spite of trying all this step and if you are still facing a problem the last step what i would suggest you to do is i would suggest you to go ahead and reset your windows now when you're doing a reset your windows uh, what you're going to do is you're going to reset your corrupt in windows installation files on your computer now how do you reset your computer to do this you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on settings once you're on the settings page you will have to go ahead and look for windows update under this you would see an option which says advanced option so click on advanced option once you're on the advanced option you would see a recovery option so click on the recovery option and then click on reset pc so what this will do is this will take you back to the another screen um, now here uh, once you're on the reset once you click on reset pc it will take you to the reset pc option where you would be given an option to choose keep my files and remove everything do not select on remove everything instead choose the option which says keep my files and then click on next once you click on next you would see an option which says how would you like to reinstall your windows choose the option which says local reinstall this will reinstall windows from the device and then click on next and uh, the next window would be for the additional settings now you don't have to make any uh, changes here you may go ahead and click on next and then click on confirm once you click on confirm your computer will reboot um, it might reboot about uh, one or two times as soon as the reboot is complete um, in case it will be prompted you to enter your username and password your windows credential enter your windows credential and password and that should restore back your um, screen back to the color so this these steps what i've suggested uh, should uh, fix a problem so in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem i would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that i can come up with a possible solution i hope this video was useful in case if you like this video Please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.